Hi, I'm Molly Vierink, and this is how I RV like a girl. So today, I'm gonna show you how to make some amazing guacamole right here in this RV kitchen. Now, this recipe is one of my favorites, and it's coming from Mix and Match Mama's blog. You can find the link below, or go to rvlikeagirl.com. If you tuned into our last episode, we made some homemade chips right here in this confection oven. And to be honest, you cannot eat some chips plain. You need some guacamole. Now to make this guacamole, the ingredients you'll need are two ripe avocados, a half of a red onion, a clove of garlic, one jalapeno, and for my own personal taste, I love to add a little bit of fresh lime juice and add some salt and pepper to taste. You can add tomato if you would like, but it's all up to you and your taste buds. So one of the reasons why I love to cook while I'm RVing is the fact that I have all of this storage and this counter space. That way I don't have to move from here over to here just because I didn't have enough space. So now we're going to have to cut the avocados. First I'm going to need my cutting board. The convenient thing of having a convection and a microwave oven all in one is the fact that I have all this extra storage space for utensils and cutting boards like this. And now I'm going to need a knife. One of the reasons why I love this particular counter space in storage is the fact that this has an extendable drawer for my longer utensils for when I am cooking. So first we're going to slice these open and twist it and make sure we're going to get the pit out because that has no purpose in the guacamole. And you'll know that the avocado is ripe when it is very squishy. So now I need to grab a bowl. Check out all this storage space. I have enough space for cups and different bowls and plates. Now you're going to then take a spoon and you're going to get all of the avocados out and put it in your bowl. Once you have that, now we're going to move on to our red onion. Now, some people like onions, a lot of onions in their guacamole, and some people don't like any onions. It's all up to you, but the recipe does call for a half, so that's what I'm going to do. Now we're going to set all of our chopped onion right in our bowl with the avocados. You can cut this as fine as you want or as chunky as you want. It's really up to you. When we're done with the onion, we're now going to add one clove of garlic. So this is the one clove, and what I'm going to do to kind of open it is then take my knife and just go like that to get the rest open. And this is a pretty big clove, so I'm gonna just split it in half and then mince it really, really fine. That way you don't have chunks of garlic all in your guacamole. Then when you're done with that, add your garlic right into the mix. And then I'm gonna grab my jalapeno right in our fridge. Now you're going to split the jalapeno right in half. Now you can keep the seeds in here for added heat, but I don't like it too hot, so I'm gonna make sure the seeds are all out. And then once that's all chopped, you're gonna add this right in here. Now to mix this up, you can either use your hands, a spoon, or a fork. I'm going to use a spoon, just because these avocados are pretty ripe, so I know they'll mash pretty good. And then you're just going to press and mix it all together. Once you have it partially mixed, what I like to do now is add a little bit of lime juice. So I'm gonna take my lime that's already cut and just squeeze it in. This kind of adds a little nice fresh taste to it and a little bit more of a citrus taste to my guacamole. Then I'm gonna mix this up and then add some salt to taste. And you're going to continue to mash this so that everything's evenly coated and the avocados are thoroughly chopped and mushed all together. And once you're done, you can put it in the fridge to chill or put it in a nice little dish like this and you're ready to serve and eat around the campfire. Mm, these chips are good, but they sure are making me thirsty. Stay tuned for our next episode where I'm gonna make a sparkling refresher. Hi, I'm Molly Vierink, and my family owns Vierink's RV Center in Grand Rapids, Michigan. I've been living the RV lifestyle my entire life, and I love to go RVing. The reason why I love RVing is because I can bring my favorite clothes with me, I can still have a great home-cooked dinner, and the fact that I can bring my pets 
Lily and Sophie. I'm starting the RV Like a Girl movement because I love sharing how I RV like a girl and I like seeing how you RV like a girl as well. I love to talk to other RVers and hear their stories, so leave some comments below. If you want to join me on this adventure, you can follow along at rvlikeagirl.com on our blog as well as Instagram and Facebook. And if you're in the market to buy a new RV or you're interested in beginning that RV lifestyle, visit Veerings RV Center right here in Grand Rapids, Michigan, and you can go on their website at www.veeringsrv.com. And once again, I'm Molly Veering, and this is how I RV like a girl.